Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Kit and today is Saturday, February 13th, 2021. Thank you guys for joining me today. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and staying safe. Now I know I've been off the grid for a little while. It's probably been about two months since I last filmed and I really apologize for that. Life just gets in the way. I've been really busy uh, with helping my girls with their school and then me with working and also I've been a little stressed out so I just needed to take some time and take care of myself. Now a few weeks ago we had to take an emergency trip down to Kentucky because my husband's Aunt Dinah, she was in the hospital going through chemotherapy so she has cancer and I believe she has lymphoma and she, like I said she was going through chemotherapy she wasn't doing so well so we just had to drop everything and go down there to visit her so we were gone for four days and um, she's actually doing better right now she's out of the hospital and she is staying with her daughter Heather who is a nurse so hopefully she will get better really really quickly so I'm just praying and hoping that she gets better soon because we will be back down there in July to visit the whole entire family. Uh, besides that, like I said, I've just been busy and I really haven't had much time to film. So what ha have I been up to? I finished um, lots of objects, so I will show you all that today. And today will just be a catch up video. And it is my birthday today, February 13th, like I said earlier and I turned 41 years old. So I don't have anything planned for my birthday because I really don't like celebrating my birthday. Um, to me, it's just another day, but it is my birthday and um, I think I will have a giveaway, not in this video. I will post a separate video for that, but I will have a little birthday giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, so let me get started on some of the non-yarny things and then we'll get into the yarny things. So a few weeks ago, I had to stop at the bookstore. We have a Barnes and Noble, like five minutes from my house. And I wanted to stop in and get my girls some books because they enjoy reading just as much as I do. And my daughter, Madison, who's 11, she's really been into like reading R.L. Stein books and um, the Goosebumps series. So I had to get her some of that. And then Sage, she's in first grade. So whatever books, like she likes like the Pete the Cat books. So I got her a couple of those. And um, like I said, they enjoy reading, which is pretty cool because I love books. So I'm browsing through and I happened to see this book and I picked it up because if you guys don't know, Nora Roberts is one of my favorite authors. I think she is an amazing writer and I will read anything that she writes. So I saw this and I had to pick it up. It's by Nora Roberts called The Awakening and it's like a fantasy novel it has to do with like the fae and fairies so if you guys are into reading fantasy you might enjoy this book so i would highly recommend this like i said nora roberts is one of my favorite authors and i believe this is um new and it's a trilogy so this is book one and i can't wait to finish it i'm on chapter 13 and it's great so far so besides reading that i'm also listening to audiobooks which has become my new addiction so i confess it's my new addiction and i'm really like into audiobooks right now because i just like listening to it when i'm driving to work i'll pop in an audiobook and listen when i'm driving home from work when I'm sitting on my couch crocheting or knitting, I'll listen to an audiobook. I can do dishes and, you know, laundry and household chores and listen to an audiobook. So I think audiobooks are amazing and it's just fun and it's very enjoyable. So um, I highly recommend audiobooks if you like reading books. Um, you can multitask and just do a bunch of stuff and then listen to a book at the same time. What have I been watching on TV? Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but we don't have cable. I refuse to pay for cable, but I do have Netflix. And what I'm watching on Netflix right now is called The Sinner. It's a crime show and it's really good so far. There's only three seasons. I've watched, I binge watched season one and two, and I will be starting season three either today or tomorrow. Um, and like I said, there's only three seasons so far, but it's a great show so far and I'm really enjoying that. So what are you guys reading or what are you guys watching? Um, if you're interested, just leave it down in the comments section below because I would um, like some new shows to watch. Like after I finish The Sinner, I don't have anything else lined up. So 
if you guys have any good shows that you'd like to recommend you can leave it down in the comments section down below so I have not purchased um, any yarn believe it or not besides my Mary Maxim knit club I really haven't been yarn shopping but today is my birthday and I'm trying to convince my husband to take me to a lo local yarn store in our area um, just to pick up some hand dyed yarn so we'll see what happens it's been snowing a lot lately here in Chicago and um, it's still snowing right now and we've probably had a good maybe 15 inches of snow and my husband actually had to pull out the snowblower this morning and um, just snow blow our driveway because it there was at least like three to four inches I think but um, if it's not snowing tomorrow maybe I'll have him take me to a yarn shop tomorrow and buy some hand dyed yarn so we'll see what happens um, two months ago I think it was on December 26 I placed an order on Lion Brand and unfortunately my package got delivered to the wrong house again and FedEx delivered it again so I've been waiting for an email from Lion Brand I emailed them three times and no response just an automated response saying that they'll get to my email whenever they get a chance so I finally received an email from them yesterday and they're actually refunding um, my money because I didn't want to chance my package being delivered to the wrong house again so I asked for a refund and they refunded the money it wasn't much Lion Brand had a sale for their low tide yarn four for ten dollars and I bought eight skeins of yarn which ended up being like twenty six dollars and change with the shipping and taxes but it's been over two months and I'm finally now just getting a refund for that so I probably won't order from Lion Brand again but we'll see what happens um other than that like I said I didn't order any yarn but I did order some Sashka bracelets so I use Granny D's link or her uh, referral link and I bought two bracelets for myself and I love them I think they're so cute and I've been wearing them a lot I only have the two so I think I might place another order for some more bracelets but they are beautiful and um, this is just my style for real like I don't like anything too um, over the top blingy so this is perfect for me so I enjoy them and I love them and I'll definitely be ordering a couple more bracelets now I did buy the extended versions because I do like I have chubby hands so I was afraid that the regular bracelets wouldn't slide over my hands but I do like um, the extended ones I think they fit perfectly so that's all I bought so it's been a little while um, and I'm really trying to de-stash and just use up the yarn I have before I buy anything new. But if I do go yarn shopping tomorrow, it'll be at my local yarn shop and hopefully I can find something good. But I don't have plans for anything right now. So let's move on to my Mary Maxim Knit Club. Um, it's been a while since I filmed, obviously, so you guys haven't seen. But you've probably seen on Ross's channel or on um, Cinnamon Stitches with their knit clubs for Mary Maxim. I will show you my latest one. Um, the latest one I received is for the ribbed headband. And I'm not too happy about this one, but I think after March's knit club, I think I'm gonna cancel Mary Maxim. And I might go back to Knit Crate, but I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to look for a different yarn club um, just to join and I'm it's not that I'm unhappy with Mary Maxim I haven't really uh, used any of the kits yet and I just don't want it piling up on me so I think I'm gonna cancel it for a little while and see what happens after that but this is for the uh, ribbed headband and I even haven't even looked um, through the pattern yet and then also with the ribbed headband there is a pattern for the coco cowl which I'm not sure if I'll make or not um, so I'll show you the yarn the yarn is I received four cakes of this lion brand stitch bird which I'm not a big fan of but I will see if I want to make the cowl or not um, this is a bulky five which is not my favorite um, 100 grams 131 yards so the three balls 
that I have in this bag is for the cowl and then the extra cake is for the ribbed headband. So like I said, we'll see if I make this pattern or not. I'm not sure yet, but that is my Merry Maxim for the month of February. And then I wanna show you guys December's Merry Maxim. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you've seen it already, but I am really excited about this one. It is for the brioche cabled hat. And I think that hat is so adorable. And in my kit, I received the pattern and then two of two hanks of the Karen and Pantone yarn. This one is called Coconut Cream. And then this one is called Purple Pops. And I know a lot of people don't like or enjoy working with the Karen and Pantone yarn, but I really like this yarn. I think it's really soft and it works up really nicely. Um, it does split some, but I think I will go ahead and try to knit up the brioche cabled hat. So I am excited about this project. I've never done brioche before and this will be interesting. And I'm hoping it's easier than it looks because it does look a little complicated. So hopefully it won't be that hard to figure out. So that was my Mary Maxim Knit Club for December. Now I also placed an order on Annie's for the uh, Annie's Hook and Needle Club. I subscribed and the reason why I, sub I subscribed was because their December kit, I believe it was December's, it was on sale for $4.99 and then you just had to pay for the shipping and taxes. So I received that and I wasn't too excited about it. It was for dishcloths and it came with three skeins of cotton yarn. Like I said, nothing special. So I was okay with that because I didn't have to pay full price. Now for January's kit, I did have to pay full price because I couldn't cancel my subscription on time. So they had already sent out this one. So as soon as they shipped my January's kit, I went ahead and I canceled the Annie's Hook and Needle Club because honestly, it's just too expensive and you're just getting yarn that I don't think is worth the $27. But anyways, the kit for January is the store and stow baskets, which I'm not too impressed with. And here's the yarn that came with it. So four skeins of bulky cotton yarn. So let me open this up. I'm pretty sure it's bulky yarn and, and super bulky actually, super bulky six. And it has 55 yards per skein. And I received four skeins in this kit. And like I said, I'm just, I'm not happy with the Annie's Hook and Needle Club. So I went ahead and canceled it. So I don't think I will be making those baskets. I will probably keep this maybe to put in a giveaway. So there is my Annie's Hook and Needle Club for January. So that's all I have for uh, new yarns. And like I said, I canceled my Annie's Hook and Needle Club and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cancel my Mary Maxim for a little while and try something different. So let's move on to my finished objects. So I have lots of finished objects since I've been gone for two months. So my first finished object is that knitted drifter shawl I've been working on. And I finished this a while ago. I just haven't had time to pop on and show you guys. But this is what it looks like. I think it's amazing. It turned out gorgeous. And I love the colorways. And the yarns that I chose for this, I think, works really well together. So the like burnt orange yarn here. It is uh, from Hobby Lobby. It's Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Tonal in the colorway Chestnut Ember. So I use one full hank. So this is a second hank I have. That's the yarn that I use on that. And then this uh, speckled yarn. It's hand dyed yarn from Holly Press Fibers called Caramel Pear Crisp. And I use one skein of that. So I think the shawl turned out amazing. It's beautiful, it's drapey, and I love the fabric that it makes. Um, I'm not good at modeling shawls, but I'll go ahead and put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. But I think it turned out really beautiful, and um, I love this shawl. So that is my drifter shawl. It took a little bit longer than I wanted to finish it, but 
I think the end result is amazing and gorgeous and I really like that one. I think I might knit up another shawl because I do like that pattern a lot. It's um, not complicated at all. It's pretty easy actually, but it keeps you interested because it's not the same um, knitting and purling throughout the whole shawl. There's slip stitches and um, different stitches that keeps it interesting. So there's my drifter shawl and I, I love it. And I think I might knit another one because I do have some hand dyed yarn that I, I want to use to knit up another shawl. So again, the drifter shawl, I will link it down below. I bought the pattern from Etsy for, I believe it was $6. And if you're interested, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. So that is my first finished object. Let's stick to knit. So my second finished object is called the Leftover City Cowl. I was watching Gary from Urban Yarn and hi Gary. He was showing off his uh, Leftover City Cowl and I love the colors that he chose for it. And honestly, I've had this pattern in my Etsy shop, in my cart for two months now and I just didn't purchase it. But when I saw his cowl and how well it turned out, I had to buy this pattern. So again, it's the Leftover City Cowl. And I'll go ahead and link that down below if you guys are interested. Um, I did not use fingering weight yarn. So I used, um, what did I use? DK weight yarn and sport weight yarn. But this is my cowl. It's a little bit shorter and I think a little bit wider, but I have a short neck, so I wanted to make a shorter cowl. So the yarns I use for this, the purple, the gray, and this persimmon color is a Knit Picks Brava Sport Weight. And then the top and the bottom of the cowl here, this variegated color is from Ice Yarns. This is called Softy Boucle and I bought this yarn a while ago, I think sometime last year, and I wasn't sure what I was going to make with it, but it's really nice and soft and springy. So I decided to just pair up these colors together and I thought it turned out great. The only problem with this cowl is that you're, it's like doing color work and my tension is all over the place. So as you can see, there's like tighter stitches and looser stitches. So that's something that I need to work on because I still consider myself a new knitter. I've been knitting for about a year now and I've never done a project like this before. So doing color work and knitting with two different colors at the same time, it's something that I need to work on. So I will be making an, a second cowl, um, actually following the pattern and using the fingering weight yarn because the pattern calls for fingering weight yarn. And like I said, I use sport weight and uh, DK weight yarn for this cowl, but it still turned out cute. And my daughter Madison claims this, she likes it a lot. So I will um, definitely give this to her and she can wear it. So that was my leftover city cowl. And it didn't take long to knit at all, probably like less than two days on and off. I was knitting on it and it, it was just a really quick knit. So I definitely enjoyed that one. And my next finished knitted project is actually a blanket. So I have been working on this blanket for a very long time and it's finally finished. I think I started in October, I believe it, September or October of 2020 and I finally finished it. So it's really, really big. So I can't show you guys the whole thing, but this is a blanket I knitted using two Karen anniversary cakes in two different colorways. And I just alternated the skeins or the cakes and this is what the blanket looks like. So I think it's great. I did a seed stitch border and then um, stockinette stitch for the body of the blanket. And it's just really big and cozy and it's, it's just too much to show you guys, but this is what it looks like. And I, I love it. I think it turned out beautifully. And my daughter Sage claims this blanket already. She's been using it already. Um, she can have it back as soon as I'm done filming. But uh, yeah, she likes it. It's really heavy and it's thick and it's really warm and cozy. And I'm glad I, I finished it because it turned out great. Um, the two Karen Anniversary Cakes has over a thousand yards each. It's a bulky five. And I still have like a ball of yarn left. And I think I'm going to set that aside and put it in a scrap project maybe. So that is my finished Karen Anniversary Cakes blanket. And that's all I have that I've finished for knitting. 
Um, so now on to crochet. So for crochet, I have two finished blankets. So as I mentioned before, I have a friend who is expecting a child and she actually had the baby um, in January. I can't remember the exact date, but she wasn't due until February. So I thought I had plenty of time to finish a blanket, but I didn't because she had the baby early. But I finished this corner to corner blanket for her or for her baby and I'll give it to her whenever I see her next. But I think it turned out great. And the yarn I used for the body of the blanket is from Hobium. I think it's called Baby Lula and I don't have the skein with me. I actually used four skeins of yarn and I have one left. So I have the fifth skein um, just sitting on my shelves because I don't know what to make with it. I think I might make her a matching baby hat. Um, we'll see. And then this is the border. I'm not sure what it's called, like a scalloped border. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I used Stylecraft Special DK for the border of the blanket. So she's she had a baby boy, and I think that blanket uh, turned out really beautiful. It's a good size, and um, hopefully she'll like it because I think it turned out great. So that is... Blanket number one in crochet, and then I also finished a second blanket. So the second blanket I finished is a blanket that I've been working on for like about a year now, and I finally finished it. So it's a blanket that I wanted to make so I can hand it down to my daughters. When they get older, they can take it with them when they move out. But this is just a simple granny stripe blanket. It's not that big, it's more of a lapgan than an actual full-size blanket, but I think it turned out really pretty and I love the colors that I chose for this blanket. I believe I chose 10 different colors and all this is all DK weight yarn. So I have yarn from Hobby that I bought, uh, Tivoli or Tivoli. I think that's a lightweight three yarn. I have Paint Box Simply DK, Style Craft Special DK, um, what other yarns? Sheepies, Color Crafter in here, and there's one more brand, but I can't remember the name. But 10 different colors to make this blanket. And for the border, I just did like double crochet. And then um, the second row, I did regular doubles and then front post doubles like to make a rib border. So that's all I did. And I think the blanket turned out beautifully. And I will keep these or keep this blanket for my daughters and whoever wants it when they move out of the house in like 20 years, they can take it with them. So that is finished crochet blanket number two. I also finished some amigurumis. Um, my, I have a friend at work and she wanted me to crochet her an octopus. So I found this pattern. So this octopus pattern is from moogly.com. And this is the first octopus I made using the bulky five. I think this is bulky weight yarn, um, number five. And that's the yarn that she recommends making the octopus with. But for her octopus, I believe she made the octopus using like Burnett blanket yarn. And I did not want to use Burnett Blanket Yarn to make the octopus, so I just found whatever Bulky 5 yarn I had, and I used that. And the octopus ended up being too big, so what I did was I went down to a DK weight yarn, and I followed the pattern, and I made the octopus, and it came out a lot smaller. So I'll insert a picture right here of the octopus that I made for her. So that octopus turned out great using the DK weight yarn. It was a perfect size and she loved it. So she loved it so much she wanted a second one in the color purple. So I had um, caked up some yarn that I had left over from a different project and I used the rest of that to make the octopus. So she loves them both and I think in the future she'll be ordering some more amigurumis from me, but we'll see. So again, this is a pattern from moogly.com. If you guys are interested, I will link that down below and then you can make yourself an octopus. But since I'm not gifting this to anyone, my daughter Sage claims it. So 
Now she wants a little octopus. This will be the mommy octopus and then the little baby octopus. So whenever I have time, I'll be doing that for her. Um, I also finished a baby Yoda. I had a friend from work again, wanted to make a Santa Yoda. And this was back in December. So like I said, I haven't been on in a while. So I'm gonna insert a picture right here of that Santa baby Yoda that I crocheted for my friend. So Santa Baby Yoda turned out great and he loves it. He actually gifted that to someone. So I hope the recipient of Baby Yoda loves it. And uh, I thought he just turned out really great. So what have I been working on? I am knitting a blanket. If you guys don't know, I still consider myself a new knitter. I've been knitting for a year and I'm still trying to learn new things. And I started this blanket using the Premier Puzzle Yarn. It's called the Marlowe Blanket, which is actually a free pattern on Premier's website using the Premier Puzzle Yarn. So it calls for four skeins of the Premier Puzzle. And the colorway on this one is called Crossroads. This yarn, which I have never worked with before, is actually... I really like it a lot. It's a bulky five, which is not my favorite, but this blanket is knitting up quickly just because it's a bulky five. There's 328 yards in here, um, 200 grams, and it recommends a six millimeter knitting needles and crochet hook. So it's a really nice yarn so far, and this is what the Marlowe blanket looks like. Um, I am on my third skein. And this is what I have left of my third skein. And it calls for four skeins, so this is my last skein. But I don't know if the blanket will be long enough. So I actually might have to add a fifth skein to this. But this is what the blanket looks like so far. And I love the colors in this. I'm usually not a brown person. But this, I think, looks really, really good. So there is the Marlow blanket. It's not that wide but just enough for one person and I'll make it long enough just to come from, you know, the bottom of my feet up to my neck, maybe a little bit longer, but I think it's looking really good so far. It's a really easy pattern to knit up. Um, really simple for beginner knitters. Um, you can definitely do this. So I like this pattern a lot and I can't wait to finish this one because I think I will keep that one for myself. So that is what I have been working on. I don't have another crochet project because I just finished the octopus for my friend who requested it. And I am looking for another crochet project right now. So if you guys have any ideas on what I should make next, you can leave it down in the comments below. Um, right now I am really working on trying to finish this blanket and it shouldn't be too much longer. Maybe uh, another couple weeks I should have this one done because it's a really quick knit. So I think that's all I have for you guys for right now. Um, I will be uploading a video later on today for my birthday giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there yet, but I do have some cute things that I wanna put in there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. I won't make a habit of it. I'll try to be back, back on again next week. But thanks for hanging out with me today. And I really do appreciate you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys all in the next one. So have a great weekend. Bye.